Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your April 2019 love reading. So we'll see what's going on with you guys. And you can be in any kind of love situation and we'll just see what comes out here and hopefully whatever we get here will resonate for you in some way. So hopefully that'll happen for you. If you feel like this is not a message for you, if it's not resonating for you, but please don't try to make it fit, then it's probably not a message for you. Um, you can check past readings for your sign. Uh, they may resonate with you more. Check the description box below for all Virgo playlists from my channel and uh, see if you can find something there. Or other signs in your chart, if you know them, may resonate with you more, particularly Venus for love. So you can also browse my channel for uh, different signs, different readings if you wish to. So thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by and watching. If you are new, welcome and thank you so much. And if you do like the way I read, um, it resonates. if it resonates for you, then please do like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. You know what to do and uh, I would appreciate that. All my returning viewers, thank you, thank you, thank you. And a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support, your likes, shares, subscribes, comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. It's uh, truly appreciated. I do love to do this for you guys. So um, thank you so much for that. And those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And if you wish to uh, find out information for personal readings, also check the description box below for personal reading information as well as my PayPal link. If you wish or choose to uh, tip or donate to the channel to keep these free readings going for you guys, it would be greatly appreciated. No amount was too small. So thank you so much for that. Please keep in mind, we may pick up energies of past, present, or future. So please keep that in mind. Um, and I think that's about it. So take what resonates and throw away what doesn't. So I may mention a lot of signs, but don't get too uh, confused by the signs. Only take in the signs that resonate for you. Please do take in the whole message of the reading. But if any signs do not resonate for you, just ignore the signs when I mention them and just take in the energy of the cards and of the reading. Okay? Alrighty. So, let's get started. So, with this deck here, for you Virgo, we're going to see who some of you could be dealing with in the month of April or thereon after or have dealt with, however this, is, however this uh, reading may resonate for you. And again, if you're not dealing with whatever comes out here, this is a Zodiac Oracle. Um, and just ignore that. <laughs> we'll see if we get a planet, an um, element, or a particular sign. So Spirit, can we have one card for the sign of Virgo for April? 2019 in love, please. Who may some of them be dealing with in the month of April in love 2019? Can we have one card, Spirit, please? Just one card. And be patient with the shuffling. Sometimes it takes a while. One card. There we go. Jupiter. Jupiter, and that's associated with uh, Sagittarius. So some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or have it in your chart or in their chart. And I also wanted to mention, if you want to speed up this reading, you can go into the settings, find the speed, and you can speed it up if you would like it to go a little faster. Depending on what kind of device you are on, the speeding, the speeding, okay. <laughs> Maybe some of you need to watch your driving. <laughs> Don't get a speeding ticket. I don't know why I said that to find the uh, settings icon. It's either on the bottom right, the little flowery icon there, or the top right, the three vertical dots. And you'll find the settings and you can speed it up and I will sound like Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, whatever. That's fine as long as you get the message. I don't care who I sound like. Okay, Jupiter. Um, luck and expansion. The desire to understand the bigger picture, prosper, experience joy, uh, optimism, faith, spirituality are the big things for Jupiter. Optimism, faith, and spirituality. So I don't know. We'll see how that ties in. So remember that sometimes I forget to tie in 
if we get a planet energy into the reading. So please keep those uh, terms in mind because they may relate to your reading in some way. And try to remember not to forget to tie in the planet energy into the reading. Sometimes I do. And then I think of it after and I go, oh crap. <laughs> anyway, with this deck here, we will get what is your main message for April 2019. That has to do in your love situation. The main message you need to hear or know. For Virgo. So can we have one card for Virgo in love for April 2019 spirit, please. What is the main message about your situation? I just want one. We have one card for Virgo for April 2019 in love. One card. All right, I'm going to take this one since it's sticking out, and I'll go over the bottom of the deck later at the end for extra message. Healer, you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. So um, that you know may not have to do with um, like you being a personal healer, but maybe something in your relationship needs to be healed. And with the Jupiter energy, it's telling you to stay optimistic and have faith in your situation. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So it's either that or maybe you have healed something from the past or something. We'll see what um, comes out here. So let's get a romance angel now. And then we'll tie all these together and then we'll clarify with the tarot. Okay, so for Virgo in love for April 2019 spirit, please. What is their romance, romance angel message for Virgo for April? Let's take a deep breath. There it is. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This card has been coming out a lot for the uh, love readings. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. So maybe there's someone you like, someone you have a crush on, someone you're dating. And we'll see. We'll see for you, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, in love for April 2019 spirit, please. Can we get one angel answer? What is the angel answer message that Virgo needs for April 2019 in love spirit, please? Success. Wow. Success. Mm -mm. Success. So something will be a success. Hmm. If you reach out to this person and tell them how you feel, maybe it will be re re um, a success. Reciprocated. I think. Yeah, that's the word I was trying to say. So let's get a love message. What is the love message that Virgo needs to hear, needs to know about love? Thank you. For April 2019. And we have, oh my God, soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Wow. And I see here. You need to get this ball rolling by telling them how you feel and it will be successful. Maybe you will heal them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see why healer is here for you, Virgo. Okay, let's get into the tarot now. And we'll clarify what's going on here. So you have a soulmate. So this person you're thinking of, this is telling you this is your soulmate. But there's a need for someone to express how they really feel. 
whether it's you or them. And it will be successful. So to stay optimistic and have faith. Because Jupiter is about joy. There'd be a lot of joy in this relationship. Wow, okay, Virgo. So what is this healer about for Virgo? That was quick. So we have, wow, two major arcana right off the back, Judgment and the Magician. So uh, I don't know if, now the Judgment is uh, Libra. And we have Gemini, Gemini Virgo with the Magician. So did something happen between the two of you and then there was a breakup? Or something and now there's a need just because the judgment card is about forgiving uh, resurrection um, second chances making that final judgment and then manifesting here with the magician so wow so the, I don't know he'll need to heal the situation here by forgiving giving a second chance and manifesting a new beginning for the two of you because this is your soulmate so i guess it's time to just forgive move forward and express there is still love there and it will be successful wow okay so let's see if we have any more here the page of swords so this is communication uh be careful of not Rushing in too quickly and causing maybe an argument. Because <laughs> a page of swords kind of rushes in uh, uncontrollably and causes some havoc and trouble. Not intentionally, but just through their action. So be careful of that. But this also is about true um, truths and clarity and uh, just speaking honestly communicating with the swords energy libra gemini aquarius here so there's a need for conversation here honest conversation forgiving healing and manifesting a new beginning with this person wow <laughs> it's your brand new beginning of love wow manifesting divinely guided big old couple love with your soulmate wow cancer scorpio pisces energy with the uh, cup of love here with the dragonfly here so stay optimistic have faith this new cup of love i mean this indicates new but this could be maybe you were never really in a relationship maybe you were kind of like just friends and then something happened but you liked each other but nobody really stated anything about it and something happened and now you're not really talking or maybe you were dating and something happened and now you're not seeing them but you know there were feelings there and there was a strong connection so i'm getting different messages so however it resonates for you but i see someone needs to just make this judgment call here and forgive and resurrect this connection is what I'm getting with truthful, honest, clear communication to manifest this brand new beginning in love with this person. Wow. Is your cup of love. Wow. Can you see all the cards? Okay. Uh, yeah, the hermit. This is Virgo. This is your energy. So this is going in and doing introspection, reflecting, finding your way, your light, your path, healing, um, contemplating, spending some time alone, figuring things out and what to do here. And I think you know, Virgo, I think you know that uh, this resurrection is needed with forgiveness, clear communication, be able to manifest this new... And to have this cup of love with this person that you want. Wow. <laughs> the star. <laughs> Aquarius energy. So you're hoping and you're wishing. 
you're having that faith and optimism as with the Jupiter energy, Jupiter energy. This is divinely guided healing energy. Wishes coming true. Your wish will come true with this person and you will have this big old cup of love here with this person. Wow. That is Aquarius with the star, but it doesn't have to be. So like I said, don't get too caught, caught up um, with the signs. Wow. Okay. So healer, and then we have healing here with the star. Healing within yourself with the hermit energy. Healing the situation with judgment. With forgiveness. And open, honest, clear communication. Will bring forth, forth the manifestation of this cup of love with this person. Wow. Virgo. I almost feel like that kind of ends it right there. With this conversation, you really need to express how you feel about them and they will reciprocate because we have success and soulmate so i don't know let's see if spirit wants to give us anything else any other messages is there any messages here for express your love for virgo in love for april 2019 wow well that's Four. I don't usually take four, but let's see. Wow, so we have strength. That's Leo. So staying strong and grounded and courageous and brave and dignified. Holding back when you know you need to, especially when you're having conversations here and you may want to like over talk them. This is telling you to have strength and have patience with this person. Four of Cups. So I feel like, yeah, you're feeling very like, should I reach out to them? Will they accept my offer? Are they feeling the same way? Do they feel this way about me? Do they want to reach out to me? You know, offer me something? I don't know what to do. Kind of energy with the Four of Cups. And then you have the Eight of Wands. And here's uh, Leo Sag Aries. And this is fast action, communication, traveling. So again, with the communication here, and then you have the Four of Swords. So this is the healing energy again of just recuperating, being still, healing, contemplating, um, retreating. So, you know, you have this action of coming forward and speaking and having conversations, but yet being still, you know. So healing energy again here, confirming that. And express your love here with the communication with the eight of wands is all about love communication here so I mean things are still right now these are both together kind of still and stagnant nobody's coming forward nobody's saying anything but this is telling you here to be strong courageous and brave and just come forward and communicate with this person and express how you feel Wow so with success, so how will Virgo's person react to Virgo if they come forward? Wow. Wow, Virgo, we have the three of pentacles, and that is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And this is working together, working as a team, working things out, making plans, um, building something. So they will work with you. They'll, they'll work on this relationship. This is working it out. Wow. And it's right under success. What else? Well, no, I don't feel like that fits. I feel like... Yep. Um... Okay, so... Wow, I didn't even ask yet. <laughs> oh, let's let's see. We got one, two, three. Let's, I didn't ask yet. I like to ask first. So, if there are any other messages for Virgo in love? What April two thousand nineteen with soulmate? Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this, and they will manifest physically. 
Are there any clarifiers? Do you want to give any messages for Virgo in love for April 2019, Spirit, please? Are there any messages for that? Any clarifiers? The Fool, wow. And now we have a brand new beginning here with The Fool. This is taking a risk, taking a chance, taking a leap of faith, starting over from zero. I feel like, and you see all the butterflies here, signifies transformation so i feel like coming forward uh forgiving the situation of whatever happened between the two of you um expressing how you feel honest clear communications healing the situation healing yourself you have this brand new beginning in love with the ace of cups you have communication strength working together and then you have another beginning here leaving all the baggage behind starting from zero with the fool energy starting from scratch transforming this uh, connection the soulmate connection into a divinely cup of love here Virgo Wow two of wands uh, Leo Sag Aries and again that's uh, making decisions, making plans, setting off in what direction you want to go in, what journey you want to go on, making that decision. So you just need to make this decision here to set out on that journey and take a leap of faith with this person and reach out and start some uh, healing conversations here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you, Virgo. Queen of Swords. So that's, you know, standing up for yourself, Virgo. Uh, again, with the transformation here, clear, honest communication, uh, cutting away anything that is not serving you, any actions, emotions, or feelings, persons, places, or things, anything like that, being, be, being very strong and uh, speaking your truths, being very wise. That's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. Turn of luck, turn of fate, divine timing, uh, abundance turning in your favor. So this is, again, with a new cycle starting uh, with this person that is your soulmate. Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's just going in. Express your love with the Knight of Cups here. It's taking action, moving forward with expressions of love. Pure and honest uh, and truths with the white horse there. Honesty and truths and pureness. Maybe passionate too with the knight of wands. You got two knights here. So you got love and passion. Ace of swords. That's that clear communication again. Clear, honest, new beginning. So you got two new beginnings here with the ace and the sword. So you have the big uh, epiphany, uh, Big, open, clear discussion, communication, transformation, and the love. There. And the love. And divine timing, turn of fate. This is you. Speaking truths clearly. Clearly, lovingly, and passionately to this person. To get this wheel turning get that wheel turning with this truthful communication and to have this divine relationship the soulmate relationship wow okay so what wow <laughs> infinite abundance is your ex extra message at the bottom Virgo you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose but this also tells me once you come together with the soulmate and it is successful and things will be healed between the two of you, whatever happened, I don't know, only you know that, you will have this infinite abundance with this person. Wow. Everything you ever wished and hoped and dreamed for. And look how they kind of look similar with the hair blowing in the wind. Balancing out the uh, energies. 
talk to your angels instead of worrying ask for divine guidance so again with the healing energy as you're healing here and contemplating with the uh, hermit energy and the four of swords and the four of cups praying manifesting asking for divine guidance to, to um, guide this divine connection here with your soulmate and the angels are saying it's divinely guided it's meant to be it's written in the stars for the two of you wow and you'll have infinite abundance wow virgo wow so this is your soulmate so either you or them need to resurrect this connection and uh, move things forward with um open honest clear communication expressing how you really feel healing whatever happened in the past forgiving um will bring forth this brand new cup of love that is divinely guided because this is your soulmate and they will they will uh work on it with you they want to work together with you with three of pentacles energy here I mean, three sometimes I indicate can indicate third party, but I'm not getting that feeling here. Um, we don't have any other threes. And to me, the three of pentacles is more of working together. But if there was a third party situation, for some of you, uh, you may actually be coming together with this person. You know, they may be leaving the other person. I didn't get any of that kind of energy. But I don't have any energy here that I feel that this is a third party relationship at all. I just feel like this person wants to come together with you and they want to start building a relationship with you. I think they're thinking about it also here. Okay, Virgo, well, that was your uh, love reading for April 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated in some way. And if it did, please comment below. I do love to read the comments, and I do reply and read them. And again, uh, if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe, like, share, comment. Hit the bell for notifications. You will be notified of when new readings are posted. I'll be starting uh, the new general readings soon. Also, uh, I will be going by how many um, views and likes these batch of love readings get will determine in what order I will do the general readings. So be sure to like this if you're watching. And if you want to hear your general reading and you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe and like. And uh, you'll get your general reading when I do them. So uh, I'm wishing you much luck here with your soulmate and sending you much light, love, and blessings. And I always say, shine your light.